welcome to the warm-up as we're in Pandora Gilboa to talk with the Rocket football team. I'm Mark Hoontz. Matt Finkel will be along momentarily. We begin, though, with head coach Christopher Myers. And, Coach, last year, your first year as head coach at PG, you got him into the postseason. Good start to your coaching career. Yeah, that's always one of our goals is to uh, get into the playoffs. And, and those guys worked really hard last year, and we made it in. Things didn't go quite as planned when we got in, but uh, we made it there. And that's one of our goals this year, too, to make it back in. Making the postseason a great way to finish the year, but as you kind of alluded to, starting the year and ending the year with losses to Columbus Grove, not uh, not a good yeah, way to start as, things at PG. Especially as the uh, big rivalry around here, you know, that that, that one stings a little bit. Um, but, hey, in, in, anytime you can make the postseason, uh, get a little uh, extra practice time, and uh, it, it kind of excites the kids coming into next year, and uh, hopefully you get a little better with that extra week. Graduated quite a bit of talent from last year's team, but you you kind of touched on it. There's a lot of excitement about this program now. Are you, are you starting to see some some more kids come out for football now? Yeah, we we have some smaller uh, classes. Um, only three seniors on the team this year, uh, seven juniors, but uh, we're totaling 25 kids in the bottom two grades. So I think it's 13 and and 12, I think, in, in the bottom two, something something like that. So um, hopefully we can keep those numbers up, and uh, you know. You, you you need players to win is usually how it works. Bigger rosters are, are usually better for coaching staff. So, Just 10 upperclassmen, does that mean you need to simplify things, need to go back to basics a little bit with this Well, you know, team? yeah, there's there's a lot of fundamental work that's been happening in camp and, and two-a-days. And, uh, but uh, we're not really going to simplify it. We have expectations, and it's up to these guys to meet those expectations, and we're not going to change them regardless of whether we have uh, – eight sophomores starting or, you know, it's uh, eight seniors starting. So uh, we're, we're going to keep our expectations the same year after year. Kind of continuing with the Macomb South theme, you added uh, Coach Westenbarger to the staff this year. Yep, yep, Coach Westenbarger's here. He's uh, he's going to be calling the offense. And uh, I, I, I coached Kevin mm -hmm. back in the day a long, long time ago, <laughs> and then, and now he's here on staff, and I'm, I'm real happy to have him, and he's been doing an excellent job uh, just uh, – you know, he's he's an offensive minded guy, played quarterback and stuff, and I'm more defensive minded, so it's it's nice to have him here. Yeah, nice little peanut butter and jelly mix between exactly, the two. Exactly, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Well let's talk about the defense then. What can we expect defensively from the Rockets? Oh, you know, um gonna play the same four three we, we, we normally play and we are uh, meticulous in doing our job, uh, making sure we're in the right places and uh, just doing fun being being flawless fundamentally and that that's always one of the things that I've I've I coach and have been coaching, and uh, we, we always say you do your job and let the guy beside you do his job, and all 11 people end up you know, coming together as one and, and doing like one complete job, and that's stopping an offense. As we tape this about a week into uh, the preseason practices, what have you seen in the, this first week of two-a-days? You know, the, this, is, this is a hard-working group. Uh, they know they're young for the most part, and there's a lot of guys who, you know, maybe have only played JV ball or maybe never, haven't even played JV ball yet, and they haven't had that Friday night experience, and they, they're busting their butts. Uh, we've been going basically four hours straight through, giving them about a 15-minute popsicle break, the <laughs> 6 o'clock popsicle break, going four to eight every night, and, uh, you know, just they, no, no complaints, and they, they just keep working. So uh, I always believe if, if you work hard, good things are going to happen for you, and, and these guys have been proving that, and, and, and they're getting better. That's what we keep saying. we got to get better every single day. We can't stay the same, and we got to keep seeing that improvement every single day we come out here. Being as young as you are, does that mean the couple scrimmages upcoming are even that more important for the team then? Oh, definitely. And, you know, the there, there is some serious competition that's taking place in practice because we have guys that are young, and they are playing for the same position. So that's the best part about but kind of our, what, what's going on here right now is you can't really take a day off. You can't take a drill off because we're always watching, you know, your counterpart, you know, whether it's a guard spot or an outside linebacker spot. We're always watching, and uh, we are going to, uh, you know, use the scrimmages and what happens in practice to kind of uh, determine who's going to win those spots. Looking at the schedule, your two non-conference games, Columbus Grove and Macomb, even though Macomb's in the BBC, it's right, technically right. a non-conference mm -hmm, game. Mm -hmm. What a great way to get ready for the BBC, having a, a big rival like Grove and then a very good team like Macomb. Oh, hey, when, when, you, when you come out of the gate with, with you know, those two teams, you, you can't take a day off in two days. And uh, we, we preach that every single day, and we just have to, to be our best every single day to just try to prepare. You know, the, those, the, those are great programs, and, and they're well-coached programs, and we have to make sure we do our part to, to be ready for them. Um, 
we're we're expected to win games regardless of if we have eight sophomores starting or whatever it is. And uh, we're just going to come out and prepare every day to put ourselves in the best position to be competitive every single Friday night. Two of the first three games on the road. Being a young team, how do you prepare those youngsters to get ready for those hostile road environments? You know, I, I the, the best part of me, they might not know any better yet. So, um, but the, the, I always tell them, regardless of where we're playing, football is football. Uh, the rules are the same. Uh, everything is exactly the same, whether it's on your field or someone else's field. So if you do the things you've been coached to do and just play hard, play physical, play fast, we're, we're going to be fine no matter where we play. You've been around the BVC for quite some time. Is this league now better than it's ever been before? I think so. You know, the, when, when you talk about teams at the top, there's there's just so many of them, you know, that, that you just don't know going into the season who's who's going to come, come out on top in the BVC. And uh, I don't think we're in, in that upper echelon yet of the BBC, but uh, I keep telling these guys that's where we want to be. So we're going to come out here and work hard. We're going to lift hard and prepare year round to make sure that someday we are mentioned in those upper echelon teams. What do you think the strength of this year's team is going to be? They are young, and I know a lot of people think that's, that's not a strength, but it, it also it makes them coachable. Mm -hmm. okay? uh, they really don't have any bad habits yet, uh, and we can kind of uh, direct them how, how we want them to play the game. Uh, and hopefully two years from now when they come in here as seniors, these sophomores, all these drills will be something they've done. They'll know exactly what to do. They'll know the plays, and, you know, just, it'll actually probably be a lot easier on me as a coach. So, A couple of the big storylines this particular football season are, are kind of things that are a little bit out of your control as a coach. The OHSAA mandating some new limitations in terms of hitting, all in terms of safety. You want to try and keep players as safe as possible. How has that affected what you've done so far? How's that going to affect what you're going to do moving forward? Honestly, you know, always coming from small school football, you know, just just drilling each other every day and full contact every day. It's really not something that that I've ever, you know ever been a part of and ever really done because at, at this level you just can't come out here and just smack each other around constantly because you're going to get hurt mm -hmm. and you just don't have the depth at you know D6 or D7 to you know just have guys to step in. So we, we always focus on angles, tackling angles and getting in the right position and being fundamentally sound and, and those types of things more so than going out and actually just smacking each other around. So honestly, it, it, I mean, it may be a little bit, but for the most part it's, it kind of fits in already with what I kind of do. So, All right, thank you very much, Christopher Myers, head coach Pandora Gilboa. We're going to take a break on the warm-up, and we return more from the Rockets here on WOSN. Welcome back to the warm-up from Pandora Gilboa. We are here with the three Rocket seniors, TJ Keplinger to my right, halfback, wide receiver, middle linebacker, Hunter Hovist in the middle, wide receiver, defensive back, and Josiah Basinger on the end, running back, outside linebacker. TJ, let's start with you. Coach talked about you three as the lone seniors on the team, and that pretty big responsibility for you guys to lead this, this young squad. It really is. Uh, honestly, I think we can do it. Um, I mean, yeah, we have a lot of small people, but it's it's like a building season for us, so I think we can do it, though. Hunter, year two for Coach Myers. What have you seen out of him this year? Are you guys a little more familiar with him and he with you? Uh, yeah, uh, you know, it's our second year. Um, I feel like our, like knowing our defense, it's a lot easier. You know, it's our second year coming back, so we've got off to a rolling start, and it wasn't as much of a learning process. It was more of just, like, clicking and going with it. That's nice to hear. And Josiah, for you, start a camp, everyone's probably looking at you three to, to take the lead. Did you feel you had to do that right away, or have you eased your way into it? Um, I feel personally like I had to do that right away. Um, just trying to be a leader last year kind of eased you into this year, carrying it over. Um, us three seniors being the only three. Um, yeah, we got a lot of young guys that they have to look up to us, but uh, we came prepared for them, and we're going to lead them. TJ, coach said everybody's working really hard so far. He's been really impressed with how practice is going. Have you noticed that practice have, practices and camp has been going really well so far? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Um, I mean, everybody pushes himself to the 110% that, you know, they're willing to do it. And it's showing really, I mean, it's showing a lot. So. And Hunter, for you, 
you'll get a chance to take the field in some scrimmages along with everybody else and show all that hard work you've been doing. What does it mean to you to get on the field against some other competition and, and show what the Rockets can do? Uh, I, I'm just, I'm ready for it, you know. Um, I feel like we've been working really hard. Um, we're getting a lot more done this year than we were last year. I mean, last year we had a lot of talent, but I felt like we didn't take it as seriously as we should have. But, uh, yeah, I'm ready to see what we're capable of doing. Josiah, what would you say the goals for this year's team are? Um, I just think we need to become more methodical, ambitious. Um, we just need to come together as a team. We need to work hard. We need to set some goals, and ultimately we can try to become the best players that we can on the field. TJ, we'll close with you. Biggest strength of this year's team as you evaluated about a week into camp? Uh, I mean, we might not have the size, but we have the speed, I think. So I think speed's going to be our strength right there for you. And it looks seems like you guys have a lot of heart as well, which I'm sure will come into play later on in the season. We need to take a break here on the warm-up. Thank you guys for joining us. Good luck. When we return, we'll chat with a couple more Rocket players. Welcome back to the warm-up from Pandora Gilboa, and we've got some more Rocket players joining me to talk about the upcoming season. To my right, it's Jason Walther, junior wide receiver safety in the middle, Zane Traxler, junior running back outside linebacker, and on the end, sophomore quarterback and safety, Carter Knopfsinger. Jason, let's start with you. You played on the varsity team last year, lost to Grove in the postseason, lost to Grove in the opener. You guys have Grove coming up week one. How excited are you to take on the Bulldogs? Uh... I think in general our team's pretty psyched at a chance for revenge. I know we both lost uh, both games and we also lost a Saturday morning. So even the guys that weren't varsity are still uh, like they got the fire in their gut. Zane, for you, coming up and on a young team but a junior, so I'm expecting or I'm assuming they'll expect you to do some leading. How have you taken yeah. on that role? Um, it's been pretty hard. I mean, we have the seniors already taking leader positions, but I've been trying to get up there and just try to lead by example, get the team going. Yeah, and Carter, for you as the quarterback, you know, a sophomore coming up, and a lot of guys are going to be looking at you to kind of lead the offense. Is that a responsibility you feel comfortable with? Oh uh, yeah, um, I feel like I'm ready. My team, my team looks for me for guidance. Um, I feel confident though. I feel confident in my team. I feel that I'll do a good job and they'll help me around. Jason, what have you seen out of Coach Myers this year as, as you guys work into year two with him? Everybody's a little more familiar and he seems to be really impressed with the work ethic so far. Um, well, I just noticed that like he's uh, doing better with uh, coaching up the younger guys as well, like not just focusing on the varsity, the guys that are going to be there th that year. Uh, and not not saying that he didn't do it last year, but it's – there's more of a well-rounded focus. Zane, for you, playing in the BBC, it's got to be exciting yeah. knowing that that conference is so talented. Week in and week out, what do you have to do to prepare to, to bring it for a conference game? Well, we just have to stay focused every week. I mean, all the teams are very great, so we just have to bring our best each year. And Carter, what do you think the Pandora Gilboa team needs to work on most before now and week one? I feel we need to focus most on uh, our defensive side. I feel like our offense is putting it together pretty well, but our defense is a little shaky, but they'll come around, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that we'll be ready by week one. Yeah, we've got some time to work out the kinks. Well, best of luck to you guys this coming season. That's going to do it for this edition of the warm-up from Pandora Gilboa. We'd like to thank all of our guests, including head coach Chris Myers. For Mark Kuntz, I'm Matt Finkel. We'll see you next time on WOSN.